Auto number two about to get underway. We'll soon know if Hannah's adjustment will pay off. And there goes the gate. The race that will decide the Nissan Unadilla Motocross Grand Prix is underway. 40 of the best riders in the world are thundering through corner number one. Team Honda's Johnny O'Mara, the first moto winner, has the whole shot and a clear track ahead. Hannah got a good start and is currently running fifth as the pack heads and a pile up just seconds into the race. Four riders are down, but it appears they're all okay. Johnny O'Mara leads the field through the top part of the track, headed for the most spectacular and favorite obstacle at Unadilla, Gravity Cavity. O'Mara has no way of knowing, but he must assume that Bob Hanna is close behind. The strategy for both riders is cut and dry. Win at all costs. The one that does that will be the Unadilla champion. As the rest of the pack clears Gravity Cavity, the battle lines up front have been drawn. Hannah has moved to the number two position and is hounding Johnny O'Mara. For the first time today, he has the opportunity to study the Osho's lines. O'Mara goes to the inside. Hannah going wide. There's an old saying in motocross, you can't pass if you choose to follow. Hannah knows it, and so do the fans as they cheer the hurricane on. Coming up is a 60-foot drop-off with a tight U-turn at the bottom. Only the tree dwellers can see the action there. And what they saw was a Bob Hanna pass. The Hurricane has taken over the number one position. For 10 years, Hanna has tried to win Unadilla. For 10 years, he's come up short. The Hurricane is close to retirement, and this could very well be his last opportunity. But to win, Hanna, who was once stabbed as the best in the world, will have to contend with a tough and unforgiving Unadilla racetrack and the determination of the rider behind him, Johnny O'Mara. And O'Mara shows that determination. He tried an inside pass on Hanna. He stuck his wheel into Hanna's leg and delivered a message. The race is not over yet. The two superstars are on the top part of the track, heading for Gravity Cavity. Hannah, now O'Mara, dive into the cavity. Coming out, they'll fly a full 70 feet in the air. The fans here at Unadilla are going wild. Let's go to Gary Bailey, who is trackside. Larry, the battle everybody's been waiting for between Hannah and O'Mara. Maybe this is Hannah's year, and he's going to get his first one. Hannah's showing the confidence as he comes over the top of the jump, making the pass on O'Mara, holding one hand up in the air. It looks like it's going to be a good race. Gary, from up here, it's a tremendous race. Two superstars going one-on-one -on -one for supremacy here at Unadilla. Hannah with a lead and O'Mara dogging his every move. O'Mara's style is smooth, fluid, and precise. He flows with a track. Hannah, often with feet off the pegs, has a hard charging style all his own. He attacks every inch of the track. This battle is a long way from being over. Stay with us. Will needs to get top performance out of his bike. Acceleration, response, power, and speed. I know real power when I feel it. And if you want more horsepower and better throttle control from your bike, do it the way I do, Boys and Reeds. They're inexpensive and easy to install. Just bolt them on and go with Boys and Reeds. Boys and Power Reeds will give your bike the best boost for your buck. Ask your dealer or call 1-800-441-1177. Boys and Power Reeds. Welcome back to Unadilla and the Nissan 250cc U.S. Motocross Grand Prix. Motor number two is winding down and the battle for the lead and the overall win continues to rage. In front is Bob Hanna. Right behind him is Johnny O'Mara. Privateer Billy Lyles, meanwhile, has moved into the number three position. Behind Lyles is another American rider, Team Suzuki's Eric Kehoe, and Kehoe shoots off the side of the track and hits the spectator fence. Kehoe is all right, but that move will cost him position. Back to the leaders, and Johnny O'Mara is still dogging the rear wheel of Bob Hanna. The fans here at the Unadilla track, which is often touted as being one of the best in the world, are watching the race of a lifetime. O'Mara and Hanna are side by side down the finish line straight away. O'Mara cuts across the track behind Hanna. He's going to try a pass, and he makes it. The Team Honda rider has regained the number one position in moto number two. Earlier in the race, O'Mara had threatened Hanna in that same corner. But this time, with a great motocross move, O'Mara changed lines. He surprised Hanna and made the pass going into the corner. There is not much time left in the race, and now it's Hanna's turn to play catch the leader. O'Mara 
out in front has everything going for him. He's one of the best conditioned athletes in the world. His surprise pass has to have had an effect on Hannah, and O'Mara is taking full advantage of the situation. He's picked up the pace and is opening a huge lead. The Osho is riding one of the greatest races of his career and is headed for his second Unadilla win in a row. O'Mara, wait a minute. O'Mara is just coasting. I don't believe what I'm seeing. He took his left hand off the bar. He might be, no, he's reaching for the fuel valve on the gas line. On the last lap, O'Mara apparently has run out of gas. Bob Hanna in the number two position is going to inherit the lead. Unbelievable. There's O'Mara and Hanna rides by. I don't think Hanna even saw O'Mara. Hanna, with just a few corners remaining, is going to win Unadilla. For 10 years he's tried, but every time, something similar to what just happened to O'Mara has happened to Hannah. And now, in what might be his final ride at Unadilla, the hurricane is being paid back. The checkered flag is out, and Bob, Hurricane Hannah, in an unbelievable sequence of events, is the winner of the Nissan 250 U.S. Motocross Grand Prix. The fans are going wild, and Hannah is bewildered. He thinks he finished second. Let's go to Gary Bailey, trackside. Bob Hanna, you have won Unadilla. What happened to Johnny O'Mara? I don't know. I've uh, lost a lot of them like this, breaking, but I never thought I'd win one like this. I don't, uh, I don't like it. How important was the age factor? Do you think that's what hurt you? I don't know what age factor did it, but he, that sucker's in shape, and he wore me out, and uh, I, I, I couldn't pick the right lines. You know, he outsmarted me. You know, he's a smart. He's great, and uh, I've got to apologize to a few people, the uh, spectators, for promising to win, and uh, Suzuki for promising to win. Uh, I won, but not the way I like to do it. Bob, congratulations. You finally got your Grand Prix win of the 250 at Unadilla, New York. For Johnny O'Mara, a dry gas tank turned what was almost the greatest ride of his career into what could be his biggest career disappointment. But for the legions of Bob Hanna fans at Unadilla, the end result could not have been better. They have stayed loyal to their favorite son through years of frustration and were finally rewarded with a Bob Hanna Unadilla win. Finishing second overall was privateer Billy Lyles with moto finishes of third and second. Team Suzuki's Eric Kehoe was third, with a third in moto number one and a seventh in moto number two. The top European, finishing fourth overall, was Jorgen Nielsen from Sweden. French star Jackie Vimone, who had already clinched the 250 World Championship, failed to finish either moto. Perhaps a new Unadilla Jinx is in the making. This year's Nissan 250 U.S. Grand Prix Motocross was indeed one of the most exciting ever. From Unadilla Valley Sports Center at New Berlin, New York, for Gary Bailey, I'm Larry Myers saying so long until next year.